Well, in health news tonight, a significant breakthrough for an endangered species, a human-assisted reproduction method to help them get pregnant. A female orangutan gives birth to a baby boy thanks to a familiar procedure that a lot of couples choose to undergo. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa live in our New Haven newsroom tonight with those details. Jocelyn? Darren, when couples have a tough time getting pregnant, intrauterine insemination, or IUI, is an option for them. Doctors in Connecticut have discovered that holds true for the orangutan. Good news for the primates expected to be extinct in the wild in the next 25 years. Meet Artie, the first ever baby orangutan born through assisted reproduction, snuggling with his mom, Maggie. It's a major breakthrough for wildlife conservation. Maggie gave birth at Leo Zoological Conservation Center in Greenwich. Dr. Mark Leonderis of Reproductive Medicine Associates of Connecticut led a group of veterinarians and human medical specialists with a specific mission to save wild orangutans. How can we transfer either sperm or eggs or embryos to other zoos all across the world um, in order to help preserve orangutans not only in zoos, but also preserve their genetic diversity. They did it using intrauterine insemination, or IUI, a more natural process of artificial conception. It's also an alternative for human couples having a tough time getting pregnant. You're taking the, the male sperm and inserting it past the vagina, past the cervix, into the top of the uterus. So the top of the uterus then allows a very high concentration of sperm to reach the ovulated egg. Orangutans are built similar to humans, but there were challenges. The biggest challenge in assisting Maggie to conceive was to understand her cycles. Then there was the question of where to get the sperm. Enter Patrick, the dominant male orangutan in the group. He was basically taught with help to give us a sperm sample. Perhaps the most fascinating aspect the day Maggie had Artie, an impromptu baby shower. The other female orangutans in the group actually gave her food and gave her some presents, so to speak. One, orang one of the female orangutans gave her a piece of clothing. For Dr. Leonderis, who specializes in treating infertility in humans, Artie's birth was beyond his expectations. I consider it just a tremendous privilege to be able to help another species survive. And then once you interact with these animals, I mean, they have big brown eyes, they're smart, they're beautiful, and they're playful. You realize that they're just, they, they deserve our attention, they deserve our, our chance. Something else they weren't quite sure would happen, and that is Maggie is breastfeeding Artie. The orangutans are endangered basically because of human encroachment of tropical forests. Now, the hope is Artie's birth will also raise awareness of their plight and lead to creating protected zones. Darren and Ann. All right, Josh.